Greetings, everyone. Anthony Davis is diligently hitting the gym, engaging in rigorous weightlifting, intensive training, and refining his shooting skills. His unwavering commitment is truly inspiring to witness. As I've highlighted previously and will emphasize again, our triumph is intricately tied to Anthony Davis's performance. If he ascends to an MVP caliber level reminiscent of Kevin Garnett, the Lakers have the potential for a substantial season, potentially securing an NBA championship. The Lakers possess a wealth of talent, substantial depth, and the presence of two championship-winning stars. Additionally, the emergence of Austin Reeves, highlighted by his impressive role in Team USA, bodes well for a promising season. Reeves' successes with Team USA are likely to translate into the regular season, providing a boost to our prospects. His development and growth are palpable as he takes on a more prominent playmaking role. The Lakers' possibilities appear boundless. There are scant teams that can genuinely contend against us. Our advantageous size is notable, although Denver posed a notable challenge. Jeannie Buss and Rob Palinka addressed this concern by assembling a roster designed to counter the size disparity. While Denver presented a formidable matchup, the Lakers remained highly competitive in every game, despite ultimately being swept. The series' outcome could have tilted differently, given our competitive spirit. The late-game surges from the Denver Nuggets presented difficulties, and while we credit Denver, they also capitalized on some exceptional shots. These moments have a tendency to shape the ebb and flow of momentum. Furthermore, an essential aspect to consider is the undeniable impact of energy. Denver, for instance, emerged as a formidable adversary, driven by their late-game energy surges. Shifting our focus to other teams, the Phoenix Suns boast an imposing lineup on paper, but uncertainties surround their cohesion and the transition of Bradley Beal to the point guard position. Directing our attention to the Eastern Conference, the Boston Celtics and Milwaukee Bucks stand out as formidable contenders. In this context, the Lakers firmly establish themselves as a credible top-tier team in the NBA, potentially ranking within the top five or even top six, positioning them as legitimate contenders. A pivotal advantage lies in their complete offseason and training camp. The core group gained invaluable experience through the rigorous playoffs and a series of pre-playoff matchups, setting the stage for their growth. This season provides a prime opportunity to witness their progress. Notably, the Lakers have executed commendable enhancements, yet their foundation of success primarily hinges on Anthony Davis. His commitment is palpable, evident through his rigorous gym routines and dedicated preparation. With his contract secured, uncertainties about his future have been quelled. He exhibited resilience by battling through minor injuries and seeing through playoff series, and we eagerly anticipate this trend's continuation. Considering offensive strategies, potential options arise, particularly if the Lakers acquire another substantial center, like Bismack Biyombo or Myers Leonard. While I'm comfortable with AD assuming the power forward role, critical junctures, tight contests, and playoff scenarios necessitate his involvement as a center. This was notably evident in 2020, where AD often operated as a power forward but seamlessly transitioned to center during pivotal moments. Such preparations hold immense significance, underscoring his exceptional talent. Standing at an impressive height of 7 feet or 6 feet 11 inches, he possesses a rare blend of abilities, excelling across all scoring levels and displaying exceptional passing finesse. His dominance on defense and adept game management are unmatched, solidifying his status as the league's preeminent defender. Despite criticisms, it's vital to acknowledge his achievements. Leading in 30 and 15 games, dominating in 35 and 15 games, and averaging an impressive 26 points, 12 rebounds, and 3 blocks per game, his statistics refute any claims of decline or inadequacy. Anthony Davis remains a definitive force among the league's elite players. Impressive as it is, the core concern revolves around Anthony Davis's need for consistency. While his defensive reliability remains beyond doubt, the focal point shifts to maintaining steadiness on the offensive end. His proficiency in close-range scoring remains impeccable, yet his performance outside the 15-foot range has encountered challenges since the bubble year. This inconsistency extends to his free-throw shooting as well. With an expansive offensive repertoire at his disposal, the task lies in effectively amalgamating these skills. A cohesive and reliable Anthony Davis significantly elevates the Lakers' prowess, particularly in a demanding seven-game series. Elevating his scoring to a range of 25 to 30 points per game amplifies their dominance. While his unselfishness is admirable, instances arise when his assertiveness in offense becomes a game-altering factor. Picture this scenario, Dillo erupting with a 30-point showcase, 
and Austin Reeves dazzling with 25 points, steering the team to a comfortable 30-point lead, a secure blowout. In such instances, if Anthony Davis contributes around 12 points, it's unnecessary to push him beyond his capacity. There's no purpose in striving for high individual numbers when the team collectively commands the game. Such situations are understandable, mirroring occurrences that have transpired even during the playoffs. Defensive efforts, rebounds, and overall team dynamics take precedence. Nevertheless, the pivotal element lies in games where Anthony Davis's strong offensive presence is pivotal. These are the moments where his impact needs to shine through. It's acknowledged that inconsistencies have surfaced, instances where he grappled with asserting dominance, in contrast to his remarkable performance during the bubble year. His potential is undeniable, his capacity to transform into a dominant force is palpable. This season demands a consistent channeling of this potential. However, it's a collaborative endeavor. Crafting opportunities for him to succeed, especially in the crucial fourth quarter when ball distribution is optimized, enables him to unleash his prowess and truly command the court. Yet, in tandem, Anthony Davis must embrace a more forceful demeanor. He should actively demand possession, battle for optimal positions, and assert his dominance. Mere attempts to pass over a trio of defenders won't suffice. Instead, Davis must tenaciously seek strategic spots and vocalize his need for the ball, a call that the team should heed promptly. His resolute drive ought to trigger an immediate response, directing the ball his way. Anthony Davis wields an extensive skill set and possesses all the attributes requisite for steering us toward an NBA championship. The lineup has been meticulously curated around him, finely tuned for contention. This assembly holds the potential to contend for the pinnacle spot, an assertion I maintain even if LeBron's presence were absent. Imagine a scenario where Anthony Davis operates at an MVP caliber level akin to his performance in the bubble. Alongside Austin Reeves' ability for 20-plus point outbursts and Delo's equivalent potential, Davis consistently delivering 25 to 30 points while being an anchor on defense heightens the team's potential. Not to mention the deep reservoir of wing players and Rue's knack for contributing 20 points whenever needed. Gazing forward, this trajectory becomes plausible. Should LeBron depart in the upcoming year without another superstar acquisition, this lineup becomes our foundational base. The pivotal query emerges, does this configuration wield enough potency for future triumphs? My inclination leads me to say yes. Even sans LeBron, only a few teams can genuinely match up effectively against this robust Lakers assembly. Of course, this perspective is subject to change over time. While I'm not suggesting a lack of appreciation for LeBron, quite the opposite, envisioning him alongside an MVP tier Anthony Davis marks a pivotal shift. The fusion of an MVP-caliber Anthony Davis with this multifaceted talent pool, combined with LeBron James, feels like the missing puzzle piece. This metamorphosis propels us beyond being a robust team, potentially ranking 6th or 5th, to becoming a powerhouse guided by LeBron James that stands a good chance of clinching the leading spot. The prospect of claiming the top defense and a top 5 offense is credible, affirming our position as one of, if not the premier team in the league. These are my personal reflections. As always, I'm intrigued by your insights. Share your viewpoint in the comments, your perspective holds weight. What are your thoughts on this scenario? What predictions do you harbor? Do share your sentiments below.